Hey guys, it is another beautiful day here in Create Arcane Engineering, and we've got a couple things we need to take a look at that were done between episodes. The rain has just stopped. I love, this is the only reason I haven't turned the shaders off in this pack yet, and I am starting to run into some performance issues with the shaders, so they're probably going to have to go at some point. Uh, but let's take a look at, uh, I guess down here, right here first. Uh, we had talked about at the end of the last episode that we were needed an automatic way to harvest this stuff. So just a quick... Um, little contraption go on little contraption oh you're gonna get stubborn i have this happen every once in a while a contraption even once it um once it has sat around doing nothing for a while suddenly just doesn't want to go even though it's on power track and he's probably yeah getting close to being full we'll leave him alone so let's look at what we're doing at the, right at the end of last episode which was setting up this first production line or at least the first part of this production line so we've got our arboreal extractors we've got our trees um, coming through here, I am almost certainly going to replace this water wheel today. Um, we'll take a look at what's going on back there in just a moment. So we had up through the funnel during the last episode, and obviously I've now built the belts because we found that little surprise, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we've come down to an encased fan, 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 and we're going into a drawer. Now we're going into a drawer because I don't yet have brass funnels because I don't have precision mechanisms. I'm hoping that maybe we can get to that today. It would be really nice if we could make it that far. Um, so we're using the we're using the drawer itself as the filter for what's on what can come off of the belt here because only uh, the, the funnel can't pick it up if it can't go into the inventory behind it. Now, uh, lots of encased chain drives because I prefer these. However, I don't like having them out here on the surface. So they're going underneath, and we'll go take a look at how we're going to do that in just a moment. And then we've got one more line back here. Let me let's see. We need you here. And no, not all of you. Uh, and you here. And then we can drop you in here. And we should slowly but surely, uh, sure, <laughs> but surely start getting our uh, mechanisms coming right down here and being stuffed into the chest at the end. Now, this is obviously very um, manual still. We're still loading all of the uh, materials manually, and we need to resolve that, which may get to today we'll see because we've got to set up the mineral stuff out here for that but there are a couple of other things we need to take a look at because we ran into something really nice uh we're going to go drop down into our mine chef now we've got our contraption our mining contraption has grown quite a bit uh, i guess we could have taken a look at him um, but we have been using him way down at the bottom of the world and running into lava and such but i needed more iron uh, and we're going to talk about the other mistake I've been making here in just a moment. And since I wanted iron, I came to Y0, or I guess Y1 right here. Um, you know what? I'm going to switch this over to uh, game mode creative real quick because I just don't want to have to mess with these guys as we fly down through here. So I was running our mining contraption down through here, and I was knocking the stuff out of the walls, right? And I ran into this redstone uh, and this lapis and and was hammering away at it with our pick and I'm like what am I doing I, I can go I can go make a because I still had the, the stone pick and I was like this is stupid I can use a copper pick right so I went and made a copper pick and came down here and bashed out some stuff that was in the floor got some stuff out of the walls back up there got some of the stuff that was in the floors right here etc etc but in the process I broke these middle blocks and me being me, I can be a little lazy. So rather than fix the hole to keep going in the mining, I just turned the, the miner sideways and started going this way. This turned out to be one of the luckiest things that I have done in this entire series so far. If we go on down through here, and I did mine for quite some time coming up through here. Oh, right there it is in the ceiling. You can see it. Violent, violent. <laughs> I would have been pretty violent if I hadn't eventually found this. Violent conundrum, conundrum corundum i want to call it conundrum and, and emerald gamers heard me say that several times he said if you don't stop saying it you're going to say it in your recording and guess what i just did violet corundum is sitting right here we mined right into it now i haven't done a lot of exploring here so i don't know if it's it looks like it looks like it might be above us but i did get some out of here we also have um black corundum here and if we come down here yeah there's some more over there there's some more over here so yeah, so I think we don't need a whole lot to get a contraption built to mine that stuff, right? So that is a super stroke of luck. Uh, I guess I guess laziness sometimes pays off. Um, I guess maybe sometimes <laughs> laziness pays off. Anyway, I'm going back to the house and we'll take a look at a couple other things. All right, we are back up here at the house. Now, I discovered between last episode and this episode, I've been playing this mine pack, this this 
mod pack completely wrong because I have been playing this mod pack like we are playing Minecraft. And I know that sounds really weird, but hang on just a second. Bear with me a moment. This mod pack really should be played like you're playing Factorio. So I've been playing this like mine, Minecraft, where you go down in the ground and mine up materials and blah, 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 instead of watching the quest book real close and realizing, hey, this is really about automating everything and really about a Factorio style build inside Minecraft. So we need to pivot some. And the first thing we need to do, we have some, we have some rewards that we have not accepted. Uh, ooh, a brass toolkit and another rune. That's going to help a bunch. Uh, and brass funnels. So we're just going to put this stuff away. Oh, that'll help a bunch too. I'm going to put this stuff away. What is this? Artificer's epic bag? What did, what did that give me? Glowing bread. Infernal claw. Interesting. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put this stuff away. I, I'm going to try to remember before the end of this episode, we now have several... Um, eh, eh, eh. We now have several... Yeah, we've got we got three toolkits already, so this will make the fourth one of that tier, and then a brass one as well, right? So we're going to open those, assuming I remember, we're going to open those before the end of the episode. Now, if we take a look at my backpack, we're also going to see that I've got several more toolboxes in here. Um, that's very intentional because of what I want to do at the beginning of this episode, and I know I'm saying that like seven minutes in, so let me get my inventory cleaned up and we'll be back. Hey, I don't know if y'all spotted it when it came out of that uh, bag, but that's Mage Bloom Sourceberry Smoothie Bowl, which means we can probably make our first, mm, what was it, a, a gem, source gem. Hmm. All right, we are back over in the original hole we dug where the where we ran the miner the first time. By the way, don't fall. I did that once. It's apparently uh, really bad for your health. Uh, and what I wanted to show you was that right over there, you're going to see some... Um, a portion of a mine shaft sticking out, right? And right inside that mine shaft, if I can remember, there's water over here where I dropped it earlier, right? Yeah. Uh, although I may have simply dropped off the side of this earlier. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. The, the whole point of that is we needed we need some spider web for one of the things I want to do today. And I've already got it because I've already been over here. I grabbed it when I was over here the first time, but I failed to record that. Uh, and or I lost, I did lose, lose some video that I recorded uh, trying to get the new mic set up. And I apologize. I hope the, the volume is much better now. I have had a couple of people complain about the volume, so I'm hoping the volume is much better. If it's not, let me know down in the comments. Actually, oh, actually, either way, let me know down in the, that is not the weapon we need to be using. I'm going to beat you to death with a wrench. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Let me know down in the comments if the volume is better or worse or about the same or what. Um, I'm working with uh, my software to get that, that corrected, and I hope it's better now, uh, but let me know one way or the other. Anyway, I, I got our... Uh, cobweb that we're going to see back at the house from this it was actually down here a little ways uh and we managed not to get killed by spiders in the process so let's get back to the house and build something you might have been looking around going and going oh are we just going to ignore the mess in the middle of the room um uh, yeah yeah i'm absolutely just going to ignore the mess in the middle of the room so we have got i stuck it in here right now i'm probably stuck at monster drops yep there's our four cobwebs we are also going to need is it four iron and a redstone? I think I moved redstone. Where did I put red? Oh, I, I moved redstone into its own chest. Uh, I believe it's a compass surrounded by cobwebs, except we do have to get those things in the right spots. Is it shifted to the... Uh-oh, let me figure out which... Oh, here's... I've actually got it. Oh, yeah, we could use some brick. And we're actually going to have to cook it, so let me do that real quick. We are also going to have to empty this chest at some point, but for now, what we need is that right there. And drop this in here and rotate it all because of course I've got it in the wrong places. Blam, there it is. Okay, now what will this do? Well, this should allow us to find um, an arcane temple. Uh, there are other things here, right? Very specifically, we're looking for the things that are being created by uh, create uh, arcane engineering stuff because there will be lots of goodies in those uh, and I would like to go, uh, I started to say rob them blind. How about uh, liberate missing resources? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. All right. So it looks like we've got a old factory only about 1,200 blocks away. So I'm going to mark that on the map and we are going to go that direction and see what we can see. 
All right, well, it looks like it's 1,200 blocks that way. Now, what's going to be really interesting is that's just about where the top of that mountain is it, that we climbed up on top of and then had to jump off of to go find the... I'm going to walk that way. And sure enough, it is right here. Uh, there's the spot we marked. And this is one of the old workshops. So we're just going to get busy looting and scooting. So if you find this particular building, be careful. I at least heard the... When I touched the ground here... Uh, there's a, there's, oh, it went again. There's something right here. We're, oh, 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 you son of a. All right, I'll make my way back over and get my stuff. And here lies Brim uh, about the third time. <laughs> but we did get, I think the vast majority of everything that's here uh, we now have and it's cleaned up. Um, well, at least for, you know, what is left of the building because. That was brutal. If you're going to uh, if you're going to come loot one of these structures, just be aware it they're highly trapped, uh, and they're actually trapped with the endo detector things. So, uh, like one of them was sitting behind a chest that what it actually detected, and maybe even behind a wall. I don't remember at this point, but this was this was this was brutal. Productive. I've got a bunch of stuff, including a whole bunch of uh, runes. Uh, no, uh, what is it takes to it takes to make the runes? These things. Well, I did actually pick up a couple of runic tablets, but I think it's the runes themselves, right? Uh, rune. Yeah, these things. I picked up several of them uh, in one. Uh, well, there's six here, but I think there are some more in one of my uh, toolboxes. So we're going to head back home and pretend that that this shameful thing never happened. Never happened. All right, guys, our inventory is cleaned up from our last uh, trip and. The Explorer's Compass also pointed us at a, what is this, a Stargazing, which was the next one that I found available in the area. Uh, this is vines up the side. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is a big structure too. Okay, I am going to assume that it is also, I'm going to assume that it is also trapped. I'm going to very carefully make my way in here, assuming, you know, it, it's ballsy to say, I'm going to assume it's trapped and then just walk up and click open the door. Uh... Okay, this looks like a place that I'm... Oh, oh, well, hello there. Come on. Yeah, let's do this. Me and you, right now. Excellent. All right, I'm going to loot around, and we will come back if we find something super interesting that we didn't find in the others. I do love this ceiling. That's pretty cool. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Okay, I said we'd come back if we found anything cool. So I spotted a wrench lane over here and went, what has a wrench lane there? It is in a glass item frame, which means it is completely clear. This is one of the coolest things I've seen in a very, very long time. Oh, I grabbed the other stuff out, but that, that is a Starbuncle wheel, which I think normally takes, yeah, eight Starbuncle shards and then a Starbuncle to go inside it. That is a huge find right there. I mean, sometimes you just got to come check a spell out, right? Whee! Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I think that was it. I believe. Let's let's try casting at our feet instead. Oh, there we go. What was? Oh, uh, ouch! Ouch! It blew the fireworks up in my face. So with the starbuncle, oh 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 oh, with the starbuncle thing having been found, I came out here. I knew when we were out here, uh, we're only. Home is just back over there, right? 200 blocks. And I had spotted a carbuncle out here the other day. So, um, he's right up. Just saw him on the map. Where you at? Oh, there he is. Here, take that. Take that. Take that. No. Oh, come back. You know you want it. Ha ha! Excellent. Most excellent. So let's plop this. Oh, oh, it's already got a starbuncle in it. Um, yes, that that dot does say dungeon chests. Um, that's something we need to go revisit. So I didn't actually need to go get an additional starbuncle. Uh, okay, cool. Let's check it out. All right, and with that we have a windmill bearing. So we've now got uh, the starbuncle, the windmill, the small water wheel, and the large water wheel. And what I want to do is I need an encased fan. Do I have an encased fan? I want to do like a speed test. I will, I'm going to, I'm going to cut. I got to go through dozens of boxes to, to find this thing because we just walked in and vomited into our chests. Okay, guys, we are back and I have gotten my hands on a speedometer and here is the reason. Um, well, I think we can just start off with the assumption that, oh, I have to turn this on. 
Uh, start off with the assumption that the windmill generator is going to be slow. Stupid slow. Yep, 1 RPM. I think the next best one is probably going to be the large water wheel, uh, 4 RPM. Uh, I would expect this one to be maybe 8. 8. And I think the Starbuncle is either going to be 8 or 16. It may be twice as fast. It is 16. So, the Starbuncle cage is by far our fastest, producing 256 at 16 RPMs. Why does this matter? Well, when it comes to gear ratioing up, the faster we start, the fewer gear ratios up we have to have, right? The faster we can make things. So, uh, this guy is a superstar for us at this point. I'm going to I'm gonna tear all this down, and then we're going to dive into getting some uh, grid power, quote-unquote, set up for ourselves. All right, so there are a couple things we need uh, to get this moving forward. We are going to make 64 windmill bearings and of course we've got flax here so we're going oh uh, first we got to turn it into string yep mm -hmm, mm -hmm. hey i know what i'm doing <laughs> got to turn that into 64 wool and of course one wool on the uh, windmill bearing is all we need i guess we'll put the extra windmill bearings away for now it is all we need to actually make it do its thing now if we come right down here bloop uh Hello, cows. I need to bring y'all some more wheat and drop in right. Oh, no, this is a long fall now. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I dug out a huge hole. I just took our I just took our mining machine and brought it over here, reconfigured it slightly, and then dug us out a big room. The purpose for that is I want to set up centralized power right here. Um, and I needed enough room to be able to set up the power and run wiring, quote unquote, wherever we need to run it to in this general area, right? So we are going to start off by going, uh, is this where, hmm, what machine is that? So that is, there's already a windmill bearing there. So that's where I've got the blasting, bolt blasting set up for cooking food, which is going to mean these others. Well, here's the water. Never mind. Right here is the water wheel. The water wheel that we set up to run all that other stuff. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And do I have a wand in my pocket? I do. Eight. And now we just need to put in all of these uh, windmills. And of course they're upside down. But I should be able to shift click them down and then go on the other way. So I'm going to put all these in and then we'll be right back. Okay, now we just need to gather up our toolboxes and head back downstairs. And, and this time we'll, we'll take the slightly safer path. How's that? Slightly safer. Didn't say it was a lot safer. I said slightly safer. And what we're going to want to, now that we've, so we've got all of the wool put in, all of the windmill bearings, and we've touched all their butts, right? Everybody's spitting. So all we need to do now is cap all these off. And then what we'll come back and do is up on the next row, cap them this way, which will tie them all together. So let me get that done. All right, so we've now got everything um, on the, uh, I don't know, pick a plane. Uh, we'll call this one the uh, horizontal. So that one, the next one will be the vertical. We, we've xy uh the long and short is though we've got these all connected in their lines and if we drop down the stressometer and the um speedometer we see that we're still only rolling at one rpm but we've got 4096 su per row but if we come in here and drop in right across here now if we move the stressometer over here we should see the combined output for the whole thing that is 32,000 su setting right there uh super simple relatively speaking and in this mod pack dirt cheap wool some slabs and some uh andesite alloys yes please yes please all right so now we've got our starbuncle sitting here just he's just sitting on the side oh i can't believe i fell down there he's just sitting on the side he's not actually connected to anything except this vertical gearbox over here and can we go up please thank you oh no oh. Mm, 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 mm. now uh if we can just go straight across here like this these will connect and what will happen now is we will see um we will see that we're, we're sitting at the thirty-two thousand plus the starbuckle it's 256 right but We've increased the entire contraption speed. All of these have now been increased to a speed of 16. Um, does that effectively lower the amount of usable SU? Yes, yeah, slightly, because we can't. We don't have the option anymore of doing something very slow, right? We now have to do everything at at least 16 RPM and potentially higher than that if we want to uh, 
take something up very fast. But we now have, you know, 33,000 SU running at 16 RPM, which is fantastic. All right, so now that we've got this uh, big power contraption set up, what we're going to want to, what we're going to want is to pick a, a Y level. And one Y level would be north and south. And the other Y level will be east and west. And we will always run off of the battery here, uh, or the generator here, uh, our Y levels uh, at those, depending on the direction we're going. So we had to come over one to go up to hook into the system that used to be there, right? Let's go see. I've just done that. Let's go upstairs and see. Actually, we've got, I grabbed some scaffolding. So we should be go, able to go straight up the scaffolding here. And go straight out of the hole. Did I manage to get it tall enough? Of course not. You don't look like scaffolding, but I bet you are. Uh, okay, that's just weird. There. Uh, so yes, and it's actually spinning quite a bit faster. Well, I guess we were going with the water wheel. Right? We had two water wheels, but they were the large water wheels. And I think we discovered those are at 8, right? And we're now at 16. Or were they at 4 and we're now at 16? Doesn't matter. We are moving much faster. The whole thing is moving much faster. Oh, we ran out of something here. Probably the saw. No, you should be able to... Oh, you may not have a pusher in you, though. You do. Interesting. Oh, that's a puller upgrade, not a pusher. Uh... Yeah, I, I need to change this out for a pusher rather than a puller. Okay, uh, note to self, make sure I get that done. Uh, why are... Oh, you're running backwards too. Now that's hilarious. Um, so did I change... I did. Okay, so here's the good news. Uh, we don't need uh, the vertical gearbox there in, on a contraption like this. Just putting you in place should have reattached. Um, you are vertical in nature at this point. Um, why? I mean, you'll attach, right? Yep, so I should be able to turn you. It's interesting that I can't. Uh, easy enough. We can just put two gearboxes in. Uh, I, I, I detest using gearboxes like that, but we can certainly use... Uh, oh, you know what we could have done? We could have brought that up the other direction. We would need to turn them on their side. They're not on their side, which is why they're not connecting and, and bringing the power through. But I bet we have gearboxes right here somewhere. Gearboxes, 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 gearboxes. There's a gearbox. Uh, those are horizontal. Let's make them vertical. And we can do one, two. And now things are flowing back the direction they're supposed to be flowing. Yes, except that we're out of saws, which I'll here. I can just take one out for now, though. Here, have a saw. Get back to work. Get back to work. All right. Let me clean up here a bit, and uh, I guess this is all. I'd like to. I'd like to clean this up a bit as well. So let me clean. Let me. Let me just. Let me just clean. Let me just clean everything. Okay, guys, we are back. Uh, grab our toolboxes. Get those put away. So we are sitting at, still sitting at 16 RPM, and we're sitting with uh, about 2,000 SU used, it looks like. Um, and I, I did fix this, um, so I didn't have to have the two vertical gearboxes. What that takes is a couple extra chain drives out here. So what you do is you turn this one sideways, right? Because it's being driven on this line. You turn it sideways, and then you put the one right above it turned sideways as well. And then you just connect those with a pair of encased chain drives and then you don't have to use a pair of gearboxes I, I prefer to avoid the gearbox i don't know why there's just something about the way the gearboxes look now having talked about a this is the east west line so it looks like the east west line is going to be on y58 looks like that is the decision that we made uh, only because i seem to have done that and then it looks like the north south line is going to be on y59 as long as we always do those two we should never run into a situation where we're running this along and run into some east-west line that shouldn't be there, right? We go, oh no, uh, we're at Y59, but we ran into a, an, an east-west line that's hanging out there. Now, are there going to be exceptions? Almost certainly. There are almost certainly going to be times when we run into something that we really didn't want to. Now, where does this run? Well, this runs over to, I wish I could quit falling off my scaffolding. That would be really nice if I could just stop falling off the scaffolding. Can we go up, please? There we go. So this is now much cleaner coming straight out here. Um, I did not clean up the rest of this. I got to looking at it and went, you know what? 
it is sufficient, uh, you're running the wrong direction. So I am going to have to, yeah, matter of fact, you shoved all of, um, yeah, everything here is running the wrong direction. So this is an instance where we really are going, uh, because of the way I set this up originally, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's not a big deal. We can fix it. Uh, do I have gearboxes? I still have gearboxes in my hand. How do you like that? Uh, I will have to have... All right, let me fix this. All right, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All we did was um, put in a pair of chain drives right here, right? So that was the original stack coming up. Uh, put in a pair of chain drives right here to connect to this gearbox, creating room for it. And then we're right back to where we were, and things should now be all moving in the correct direction. Sure enough. Okay, very good, very good. Um, guys, I think... Having gotten our main power set up and now understanding what we really need to do, I think the next thing we have got to do is fully automate this. Um, that's going to require uh, a bunch of stuff to be done out in this direction, and that's awesome. Uh, but what I want to do before that is we have got several um, we've got several uh, engineer toolboxes up here, right? I'd like to open. Do I want to open them all? Because it's my understanding you can actually enchant these things. Where did I end up putting those? Let me find them real quick. Ah, there they are. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I'm assuming the only way we're ever going to get these is from the quest book, right? Um, oh, we got some... We picked this up from Treasure. Oh, we should... We should take a look at some of these. Starting with the next episode, I think we're going to focus almost entirely on the stuff that's in the book. Because that's how we're going to get back on track with our progression right we've done a bunch of stuff i mean we've got resources running our ears but we're not really making progression and i'd like to make that progression you know what let's just go ahead in the name of progression or punishment for what i didn't should have already done didn't know short of already should have done right let's just start opening stuff and see how this goes uh, it's going to go for a mess that's what it's going to do um uh, and blam all right uh that that is a lot of stuff on the ground. I'm going to get this mess cleaned up. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me, guys. Um, let me know if the volume was better in this particular video. Uh, just drop a comment down below. I know some people have been uh, complaining that the previous videos were a little quiet. New microphones in, new microphone setup should be better. Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with me, and I will see you next time.